This number of Excel is telling us to load a file called performance.xlx and carry out the following instructions. So we shall open our support files on the desktop. Then we look for performance. After opening it, we can now save it into our working folder. So I will go save as. I locate the place where to store it on the desktop in my folder. So I go in my folder and I save it. Which name? Okay, I can give it uh, which name they are telling us save the work as completed. Completed results so here let me save it as completed results i save so i can close i go into my working folder i open completed results then i start working they are saying copy the work to sheet three of your workbook so this i can say Control a twice i copy sheet 3 is here i paste so we have pasted work on sheet 3 sheet 2 is empty sheet 3 has work then more to that rename sheet 1 as original sheet 2 as computed so this is sheet 1 we click right click rename or double click this is original and then this is sheet 3 double click or right click rename computed after that they are telling us that uh, after the last subject, add three columnar labels, total, average, aggregate, and division. So here we have total. Here we shall have aggregate and average. We have aggregate. And then we shall have division. Those are the columns. So total, average, aggregate, division. After that, they are telling us, hence, determine the values of total and average. So here under total, we shall say equal signs C2 plus D2 plus E2 plus F2. We press enter, click in the answer, you autofill. That is total. They also told us to determine for average. So here we shall say equal signs average. Then we we can even say equal signs. We get three, uh, that is G2, divided by the four subjects, math, SST, English, science, by four. We press enter, that is the average, we can autofill. And then they are telling us in the column for average, change values to zero decimal places. So when they are still highlighted, you can click here to reduce them here. You can click there to decrease the decimal. More to that, they are telling us insert a column for grade after each subject for grade after each subject so we are going to highlight uh, the column for sst english science total we right click and choose insert so that we have new columns this will be for we can put grade here grade here grade uh, here grade so we have inserted this column, this column, this column, and that column. So more to that, they are asking us to, using the VLOOKUP function, assign grades to each subject for every, eh, to each student for every subject, where you are having 75 to 100, 1, 70 to 74, 2, like that. So we are going to do this by using VLOOKUP. So here I'm going to write the VLOOKUP table. 
VLOOKUP table. I'm going to put it there. So this VLOOKUP table here, I'm going to have max. Then I can also have uh, grade. Max zero, they are telling us uh, zero to 34 is nine. So zero is nine. Then followed by uh, 35 to 39 is eight. So I'm going to have 35, which will have eight. Next to that, they are telling us uh, 40 to 44, seven. So I will put 40, this is seven. More to that, they are telling us 45 to 54, six. So we have 45, which will be a six. What next? 55 to 59. Uh, 55 to 59 is a five. Then we have uh, 60, 64. 60, this one is a four. And next is uh, 65 is a three. More to that, 70 is a two and 75 is a one. So this is our VLOOKUP table that we shall use to determine grade. So here we can say equosines VLOOKUP after typing that, we open the brackets, we select C2, comma. We come and highlight our values in the VLOOKUP table, like that. We put a comma and say column two, this column two that is containing grade. So here I can highlight my range that is in red color and I fix it by making it absolute on the keyboard I press F4 and it becomes like that. That is the what? The function used. I cross brackets and press enter. So here we have gotten our grade. Click in the answer and you autofill. Copy these values. You paste in this column of F. Copy F and paste in column of H. Copy in column of H and paste in column J. After that, the question is telling us to add up all the grades for each subject and obtain the aggregate. So here we say equosines uh, D2 plus F2 plus H2 plus j2 so at this point i press enter i click in the answer and autofill so there we get all the aggregates save changes more to that the question says using a function of your choice assign a division for each subject given that division one there is a condition that aggregate should be less than uh or equal to 12 less than or equal to six in english and less than nine in math division two aggregates less than or equal to 24 english and less than nine aggregate three is less than or equal to 32 aggregates then division four aggregate less than or equal to 34 then division nine aggregate equal to 36. So here we are going to determine our division by saying, by using the if and. So we are going to start equal signs if we open brackets and we open brackets. If M2, okay, is less equal to 12, comma, and D2, that is for math, is less equal to 6, less or equal to 6, comma, H2, where we have our English, 
H2 is less equal to 6, cross the brackets, comma, that is division 1, comma, if open brackets and uh, if open brackets and open brackets, this M2 is less or equal to 22, that is division 2, comma, but then to have a division 2, the max in D2 must be less than 8. We close brackets, comma, that is division 2, comma, if we open brackets, M2, if M2 is uh, less than or equal to 32, comma, that is division 3, comma, plus 3 division 4, then we cross our three brackets that we opened the if, and we press enter. So that is the formula, look at it carefully, and then you press enter and get the division. So here we can now autofill to get all the divisions. We can add maybe an empty column here so that these ones are separated from the main data. Then going back to the question, they are telling us to add all borders and styles around our work. So we can highlight our work. We come to here under home tab, borders and say all borders. We can also highlight our VLOOKUP table. We put all borders. Note that they are telling us to insert a footer of our name in sheet 2. So a footer of our name in sheet 2. So click sheet 2. Go to insert. Under text, we come to header footer. Click go to footer. Put your names. So I can click go back to header, I can go back to my work. Next, save the work as completed results. So I think we are done with saving these completed results. So uh, if you had print this work, they are saying print work on sheet two only. So this, I mean on computed sheet only. So if you had print, when you want this work to fit on one paper, first go to page layout, orientation, put it to landscape. So when you click Ctrl P, you will find that some of the work, it stops at average, but you can fit all this work on one page. How do you do that? So under page layout still, there is page setup. Click the ribbon launcher on page setup, and then you say fit to, that is one page, and paper size, A4, it is in landscape, and click OK. So this work, when I save changes and I say Ctrl P, you'll find that all the work is fitting on one landscape page. Thank you.